Hello everyone, this is Hussein. Welcome back to this tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to solve homework 1 and uh, find the root of this equation uh, using the uh, Neutronism method and could that in MATLAB. So I, uh, I did graph uh, the given equation to find the roots. So we see that the first root is 0 0.971 and the second root is negative 6. So we're going to go ahead and find those using MATLAB. So down here I wrote the equation and I did rearrange uh, our uh, components and I put everything on one side and said equals to zero and here's the neutron epsilon method that we're going to be using. So we're going to go ahead and clear all in a new script and close all. The first step we're going to need to do is to define our initial point as we said in the previous tutorial. So we're going to start with q is equals to one. Initial guess. Now our second step that we need to do is to set our equation to a value. Right here it's set to value equals to zero, but with neutron Epsilon method we cannot start with zero, so we're going to start with one. So this will be value of function x, value of function f. Now we're going to start with iterations from zero and we're going to open a while loop and we, what we need from this while loop is that uh, it keeps running until uh, our function f gets as close as possible to almost zero. Um, so that would be e to negative nine. So now we're going to go ahead and type this equation. So we're going to have f is equals to exponential of 2 times q minus q minus 6. Now we're going to notice that uh, I used q instead of x. I'm just trying to stay consistent to what's been taught in class. So this is our uh, first equation right here, f of qn. And now we're gonna write down the first derivative, f prime q, which is right here. So we're gonna have the derivative of f will be equals to 2 times the exponential Exponential two times q minus one. So this is the first derivative of f prime, and now we're gonna write the Newton's Raphson formula, which is given right here. So to find q, we're gonna start by the previous q, the initial q minus the inverse inverse of the uh, f prime which is df times f and we want our iteration to keep running with a step of one, so iteration plus one. And let's see if it's gonna run. It's working. Uh, we got no error here. So now we need to print the value. So we're gonna use the command f print f to print that. And we're gonna say the iteration here we're going to set a directory to see how many iterations we're going to get and the second thing is to find a root set equals to 
uh, we want to see the root up to nine decimal places. So we're going to say 0.9f. And then we're going to see our function f. The absolute value of f. This one is to end the line backslash n. And now, so you see that we did, we want to print the iteration first, iteration directory, and then the root value, and then our function f, the value of f. So, iteration, we said the, set, we set the, uh, the function iteration as iter iteration. Now we need to put a apostrophe here so iteration and then our second thing is the root which is q so we're just going to type q and then the value of f which is norm f so now we're gonna run it and see what we have okay there's an error somewhere I forgot a comma here. All right, so as you can see, our first root is 0 0.97. We started with a value of one, so somewhere around here. And it works. If you wanna find the other root, you can try changing that to negative one to start from the other side. Negative 5.99. So it's very close. As you can see, the iteration keeps running until it gets closer to zero with nine decimal places here. Thank you very much, and I hope this was helpful.